Chapter 2 The miller's son went to the best shoemaker in town. The shoemaker made elegant shoes and boots for gentlemen. I want to order a fine pair of very small boots. They are for my cat, said the young man. Okay, said the shoemaker. He was not surprised at all, or perhaps just a little. Do you have any money? he asked. Here you are, said the miller's son. He took his last silver coin out of his pocket and gave it to the shoemaker. Soon the boots were made. The cat pulled them on. He looked very nice in his elegant boots. Don't worry about the money, master. I'm going to bring you luck, said the cat in boots. He put the bag around his neck. Cats have no hands, so he held the strings in his forepaws. Then he put some vegetables and a piece of bread into the bag. The cat went to the woods. There were many rabbits there, so he lay down, pretending to be dead. The cat didn't move at all. His plan was to wait for some foolish rabbit to come and look into his bag. The cat didn't wait long. Soon, a foolish young rabbit put his head inside the bag. The cat closed the strings at once and caught him. Then, very proud, he went with the bag to the palace and asked to speak with the king. The king agreed to see the unusual visitor. The cat went upstairs to the king's room. He came up to the king and made a low bow. Then he said, Sir, here is a nice rabbit from the lands, which belonged to my noble master, the Marquis of Carabas. He decided to give his young master this title. He told me to offer it to your majesty. Tell your master, said the king politely, that I thank him for this nice present. I'm very pleased with his attention. Another time, the cat went to a wheat field and hid among standing wheat. He again held his bag open. Soon, two fat partridges ran into the bag. The cat drew the strings and caught them both. The cat went to the king's palace again. He gave the partridges to the king, with the same message from his master as before. The king received the gift. His majesty was very pleased. He even ordered to take the cat down into the kitchen and give him something to eat and drink. The cat enjoyed the meal very much. He sat in the kitchen for a long time, talking about his rich master, the Marquis of Carabas. <laughs>